Good evening and welcome back to solve more modulus equations. The statement modulus x is equal to k means what? Let us see. The statement modulus x is equal to k where k is greater than or equal to 0 which means x is equal to k and x is equal to negative k. This property is used to solve equations that involve modulus functions. Now if you see the second case which says modulus ax plus b is equal to k. If you solve problems of this type we could write which means that ax plus b is equal to k and ax plus b is equal to negative k which follows the same property as this. If you are solving more complicated problems like modulus ax plus b is equal to cx plus d and we use the same property which means ax plus b is equal to cx plus d which is the right hand side and ax plus b is equal to negative of the right hand side which is cx plus d. Let us move on with an example and before that please check when it comes to modulus equations when it comes to solving modulus equations please check that your answers satisfy the original equation always because sometimes it doesn't work right okay now let us solve this equation 8 minus modulus 1 minus 2x is equal to x I will try to rewrite this. I'm trying to bring this negative of modulus 1 minus 2x to the right hand side. So it becomes positive here. And I bring move this x to the left hand side. Therefore, it becomes 8 minus x on the left hand side. A is equal to B could be written as B is equal to A. So I'm just writing this in the form of modulus x is equal to K. So I'm writing the same equation as 1 minus modulus 1 minus 2x is equal to 8 minus x. So following the property, what do we say? 1 minus 2x is equal to positive 8 minus x and 1 minus 2x is equal to negative of the right hand side. I'll repeat this once again. Modulus 1 minus 2x is equal to 8 minus x. Using the property, we say 1 minus 2x is equal to positive 8 minus x and 1 minus 2x is equal to negative of the right hand side. I hope you understand so far. Now, when you solve this equation, I just move this to the right hand side, this become positive 2x. So, therefore, you have positive 2x, negative x on the right hand side becomes x. 8 comes to the left hand side becomes 1 minus 8, which is negative 7. The next equation here is when you multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis, you have 8 gets negative and x becomes positive. Therefore, you have x minus 8 and solving this equation, you have x is equal to 3. As I mentioned before, we have to check the final answers with the original equation. So I'm trying to do that as well here. So x is equal to negative 7 and x is equal to 3. I just replace x to be negative 7 first. So I have negative 2 times negative 7 becomes positive 14. So you have on the left hand side 8 minus modulus 15 which is equal to negative 7. So modulus of a positive number is positive. So 8 minus 15 is equal to negative 7 which is which satisfies the original equation. So we accept this answer x is equal to negative 7. Next we check the answer x is equal to 3 x minus modulus 1 minus 2x is equal to x. So I'm just replacing this x to be 3. So we have 1 minus 2 times 3 is 6. 1 minus 6 is equal to 3. 8 minus modulus 1 minus 6 is minus 5. This is equal to 3. Therefore, modulus of a negative number is positive. So this minus 
is the same as this minus and negative modulus negative 5 is 5 which is equal to 3 therefore 3 is equal to 3 which also satisfies the original equation so therefore we have the conclusion saying that the property when you have modulus x is equal to k where k is greater than or equal to 0 could be written as x is equal to k and x is equal to negative k and this property could be applied to more complicated modulus equations.